Let's see. Oh my God! It's Friday. <gasps> what? <laughs> and it is the fourth of November. Uh, and we, of course, we're talking before the show is this started. This is our election day. Special? This is going to be our election day special moments. We have a lot of alcohol in front of us here. We have Justin and I sort of knocking knees under who's the table Anderson here. Who's Anderson Cooper? And who's like who, who would be like the Republican side of it? Like for us to like debate or something? Uh, uh, well, that would be Scott, our producer. Oh. He's not far from here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs down, brother. Uh, you better get out there and early vote, or you're going to be waiting in a long line. Or you can text no your vote. No lines at downtown summer. Or you can, you can text, text your vote, vote, Scott, to Trump if you'd like to, oh, and he'll get it. People he'll get would it. believe mm-hmm. that. I, people actually are believing that. If you are seeing that, my headphones are not staying. The on. I, think, I think this is a Republican. Uh, this is a. This is a. This is like yeah, a conspiracy on my headphones today. Um, <laughs> yeah, do not follow <laughs> prompts to text your vote to anyone because. Oh. That is not valid. You have to wait in line. You have mm-hmm. to do all your stuff. Do not text your vote. This is not American Idol. You don't have to have your voter ID card, though. You just your own. Just, yeah, just, just your, ID. your ID. That's all you need. I found that uh, out today. So, yeah, you went to downtown Summerlin and Downtown Summerlin, today. got it done, in and out. No got line. Panda Express, and here I am. Mm-hmm. No line. <laughs> I thought for a minute the early voting was in Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, here's my vote for Catherine Cortez Masto, and I'd like a side of beef and, and broccoli. Hillary yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's very nice. Do you have any hot sauce? Great, thanks. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm falling apart on here. Sorry. So listen. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. That's awesome. Um, and unless it's a, you know it's a political call, I'm sure. <laughs> I already voted, people. I early voted on Sorry. my birthday. I did that already. So Scott, Scott, obviously on the other side of things, our producer is the voice. is the voice that you hear in our brain right uh-huh. now, and he's he's whispering sweet nothings of people to vote for during this campaign, which we're going to conveniently ignore. Absolutely, absolutely. But we have the lovely Justin Michael Rodriguez Hi. in here. Justin Rodriguez. <laughs> Wave at every one he, of the cameras. He, oh, he's so cute. He's Aww. so cute. I shaved so for today. Uh, yeah, clearly. Mm-hmm. So did, actually, I did too. I was a mess. I was. I woke up this morning because we've been training for the new DW right. off-site. Because those of you are watching, we're not open yet. We don't open till probably the 13th or 14th of this month. I can't wait. I know we have a lot of people like banging down the door already can... trying to get in. We just got our power yesterday, okay? So And clearly, we stole our power from the Paris Hotel who lost their power yesterday. <laughs> All day. What happened with that? I that I heard it was some sort of cut in a line. <clears throat> yeah, Eiler's making hand motions. There was a cut in the line. A big old, like somebody went by one of those little buttons and said, pull down. And it turned the whole hotel off. The Paris is cut. No backup generator issue situation? No. So there were people running down the halls. You know, Screaming. Taking pastries and stuff. Where um, is it? I know. I want a croissant. Jeez. Wee oui, wee. Oui. But they, you know, he's making a motion. He looked like you're pulling rope. There are things happening in the studio today. What are you doing? Pastries. Oh, he's stealing pastries. I thought you said Like a conveyor belt. Like he's like, you know, he's like a little, little what's her name? Lucy and Ethel taking things. I know. Mm. Uh, So. What are you drinking? Jack honey. I'm drinking Tangare. I'm drinking gin this morning. It's a gin kind of day. Good for you. It's a lot going on. Oh, good Lord. We hear. I'm going to repeat everything Scott says. I didn't even hear him. Because nobody can. See, I can hear him. He's like a little mouse back there. A little Republican mouse back there. <gasps> He's, we're hiding In his cheese building. continually. Mm-hmm. We're hiding your cheese. Did you hear me sniffle like Donald Trump just now? <laughs> Throughout, you know, <laughs> there he is. Oh, well, well, well. you know, the nice thing about Scott is he's, he's not so going to. He's sweet. He, he's a Republican, him. not voting Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> we just, I'm sorry. We had a very lively conversation. We won't bring it up here. It's a very hot button for a lot of people. I know. But we will say this: All as, as voted you today. voted today, right. I have voted. Everybody in this room has now voted. I even gave them time during work, except the Republican in the room. That's fine. Has That's not fine. voted. Sad. If he has to work all That's day right. on the 8th, you know what? Vote on, on, you're voting on November 28th, according to Donald Trump. So remember to vote on November 28th. Um, no, but we early voted, and the thing about it is. You know, we say vote for whoever you want to. Just don't complain about it if you don't go out and do it. Right, just make so, your voice heard. Exactly. Have you fun. have today yeah. only to early vote, and then Tuesday you can wait in the lines of people. But we do encourage you to vote. Well, I hope all of our American idiot friends vote now because yep. the day after mm-hmm. that show, you're going to have a hard time getting to the polls well, without that, being Everyone's just going to be like. <clears throat> but let's talk about this. The nice thing about this, so okay, I'm going to tell you. So Andy heads up our house seats presents area right. of things. Excuse me. He came to me, excuse me, the tangray makes me burp. <laughs> Haven't had gin in a long time. Uh, Andy is very adamant about this, like literally, like from his soul, I want to do this show. And I said, you know, listen, oh, they're going to put him on camera now. Cheers, literally, 
like from his soul saying to me, we've got to do this show. Right. Now, you know, the story of the show and the history of the show came about during the Bush administration. And right. Was it during which campaign did it sort of come out the first... from the, the Gore campaign when we had the whole kit and caboodle, right? Did they make this album? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, 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 not the album, but the show itself, the Broadway part of it came about. The Broadway show came after the show. Okay, right. The Broadway show came after, but the album was written the second term of George Bush. Right. The rigged election we all went through in 2000 when the the government had to come in and sort out who won that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Please don't repeat that this time. Please don't repeat that this time. Let it be a landslide and let it be over so we can move on and we don't have to watch those stupid commercials anymore on Wednesday morning. I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. No. If it was Bernie, I think it would have been a landslide. I don't know. It's a lot of people. people I don't know. Him. I, love I don't know. Him. I don't know. It's like I, I'm not going to say. Little grandpa. I'm not going to so say. Cute. I don't know. Not going to fight about. The Anywho, so anyway, American idiot. American idiot. So why we're doing this show the night before? There's a lot of emotion. A lot of like, where do I go? So obviously, was that two nights ago? Everyone was like, and cuddled in front of a television watching the uh, the World Series. Right. Right. So where do you put that? Strangely energy? enough, I was. I, I, not I was watching Beyonce it. on the CMAs. Oh, no, I was go. watching the game. What was Beyonce Bad doing game. on CMAs? Uh, what was she doing? She was there? singing with the Dixie Chicks. Didn't you see that? Really? Oh, yeah, it was Does fabulous. she belong doing that? Yeah, it was good. So th- that energy, where people place that you know, energy, you know, people are piled up around televisions mm-hmm. watching it. I actually was... In driving at one point, I was actually tuning in on the AM stations looking for ESPN radio for the for the for the yeah. baseball game. It was legit exciting. I had I'm to pass through a, a lot of guy, bullshit a lot of fun. on AM talking about all of the Republican side of things because only the AM channel nobody listens to that shit. <laughs> but I finally find ESPN radio and they're ta- it's finally the game. Yes, we're not on AM radio. We're finally watching. I'm finally listening to the game. But people are glued to the game. Mm-hmm. Like my GM at DW, he's from Chicago. I, it, was, it was a big huge deal. So. Again, so part of the placement of the show and what was available at Vinyl that Andy called on, we have the night before the election to do this. Two shows, fifteen dollars a ticket, totally mm-hmm. awesome. Right? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I know you're you're I in the show. Cannot wait. Justin's in the show. We have a number of people in the show. First of all, this album, American yeah. Idiot, in general, I would say two thousand five was when was it two thousand four or five. I can look it up while you're talking. When the actual yeah. album came out. Yeah. And I would, I mean, it was the album of the right. year that I would listen to and I harmonize to and right. sing and belt. And it was just such a fantastic album from beginning to end. Right. So when I uh, was cast in this, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's perfect. Yeah, 2004. Songs, November, 2004? September 2004. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yep, yep. Fantastic music. Uh, 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 clever, clever writing. Yeah. Clever, you know, verbiage and all the words. It's just, it's really, really, really a cool show. And the talent yeah. that we have in this. We have a mic now. Oh, oh you do? Look at that. Look at, um, oh, my, oh, my God. We've got everyone's in this. As, le- as long as you don't give a microphone to Scott, well, I'm okay today. Now, Scott is. <laughs> Who's Scott? I don't know. Scott. I don't know Scott. He's going to pull the plug on us right now. <laughs> Scott. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties on our channel. But, but yeah, no, I, I can't believe, I cannot believe that I'm. Mm. I love that he chooses Bette Midler music instead, clearly. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> oh, boy. They do have a microphone out there. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead and use it. Oh, oh. <laughs> we had a little skit like that in Spoofagle for a hot second there. We'll, we'll get to your career in a minute. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 my sorry. mother must be watching it this was, right now. Why aren't they talking about my son? I'm really sorry. I don't usually drink gin. I usually drink rum, which is so much more mellow. First of all, than gin. I don't usually drink during the day at all. Period, so right? This is it's wonderful. Right. It's happy hour Eyes. in France. Right. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock in Bermuda. Go ahead. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? Oh, now you're directing something to him. <laughs> Lies. To, I don't usually drink during the day. Lies. Lies of Manelli. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, go ahead. So we were talking 2004, the album, and obviously the talent on this show. The name off some more names that obviously who have been on this show before, but name off some of the talent that's in the show. All right, so we'll go through this. It's it's yeah. amazing. This is one of those like if it doesn't happen in New York, L.A., right. Chicago, like the major entertainment cities, you don't get the, the Voltron effect <laughs> like we have with this. <laughs> so you have Rocky Brown, who is yep. the name of female rockers around the city. Yeah. 
is our female Rocky lead. Brown, Rocky Brown. Then we have Anne Martinez from Vince. Yeah. You, your mic keeps cutting out. I don't know if they can. Oh. And we'll repeat. We'll repeat for you. Scott, uh, it, it's this is because Republicans. Oh, are right. oh, now I got. <laughs> there you are. Woo! Found you. It's because. I'm really tired of this shit. He's getting <laughs> really tired of this that, conversation. Yeah, we've got. <laughs> hold my mic. All right. Hold my mic. Thank you. That's a word you never hear. Hold we've got mic. Rocky. We've got uh, Anne. Anne Martinez. Yep. And then we have Rachel Dutt Dut. Dut. from Million Dollar She's Quartet. So right there you have range three of ladies. two major production shows of, right. of Broadway caliber shows. Broadway caliber shows and Eilers. And our rocker. Eiler. Two of the male leads are from Rock of Ages. Brandon Nix and Paul Johnson. Johnson. And then we Paul have Johnson. Anthony Meyer Anthony and Eiler Evan, who Eiler. are yep. from the, the local theater exactly. scene uh-huh. from uh, Super Summer Theater, gotcha. who do a lot of the leads. So we're, we're putting Las Vegas Theater into the strip also, most which most shows saying. don't yeah, do. But yes. yes, but Super Summer I'm Theater, Eiler... Out. Who has been in there? Oh, who's also okay. house seats man of all mans here? The showman of all showmans, man. Mr. James. Showman of oh, all showmans. Yeah. Well, no, actually, he's not in it anymore. No, he's not. Jason. But the octet is amazing. We yes. have an octet, and we, I wish you were. And Jason. we obviously, we obviously are doing this under Aaron Colby. Uh, mm, we're Kirby Long. under the direction of uh, Musical Theater International (MTI). Correct. So well, they they get, they provide the licensing, the rights. so that's where we got all our materials. Is MTI? Rights. I approve this message. That's what I have to say for them. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we have much. Bella now, Strings to give playing. you an in, in, to give you a little bit more, and I think we were talking about this before the show started. Uh, Andy took us to see um, Anne Martinez the other night in Bass. In Bass. Oh my god! Which I haven't seen her. I've seen the show three times, but oh, I haven't seen her. You yet. saw it with Joanne. I saw the. I saw it with Joe. Yeah, Joanne yeah. Jones. Yeah. Um, and I've seen some videos, and Anne is just. I mean, come on. <laughs> First of all, the songs they pick for that character for Stop Daisy. It. it. Oh my god! Like. It chills. I mean, we were sitting, Jason and I were sitting in the front row, so I was trying to get a, a, of a nice picture of her. We didn't obviously show it today because my picture was like right up her skirt because she was standing right over me. I'm like, I don't want to really post that picture of Anne because it's like, I love Hi. that show so much. Such a good show. You know, uh, Lisa yeah. and, and, and just uh, my buddy Nick is in that uh-huh. show and I hope it's just such an awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. The only show. thing I, I always criticize about the show is I like confetti all over me. They have the one part where they throw the And they don't glasses. do it in the audience. And I'm like, um, I want freaking confetti dumped on me at the end of the show. I want it. I want it all over me in the end of the show because I feel it like all over you. I want it all over me. I want all the confetti oh, all over boy. me. What? Oh, boy. But I'll get enough confetti when I go to the Aria after party for uh, Democratic Convention Night on Tuesday when Hillary wins and I get all the confetti all over me. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ooh. <laughs> Yes on question one. Thanks for that. Yes Thanks on for that. question one. Yes on question one. one. Background checks on Scott. Um, and yes on two. Right? <laughs> yes on two. Yes on two. Not saying, just Something saying. Something about the roads on five. Yes on five. Mm. Yes on three. Yes on four. I think, I think it's, it's yes, yes on, Elvin, on every right? one of them. Well, yeah. I actually texted my mom when I was in line because I had the book in front of me. And yes. I was like, but do I just say it? She's like, just vote yes on them all. I was vote like, yes okay. on them all. All of them. What's your mom's name? Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Marlene. This is hi. Hi. Oh, Thanks she's so watching, excited. She just Marlene. turned all sorts of red she right now. She's did. laughing at we the computer. We love you. Oh, it's love She's it. so excited Don't you love right it? now. She's so, like my biggest fan of the world. I could do nothing wrong. I could, well, I could do everything wrong in this world, and she'd still be and like, she still love you oh anyway. Oh, my God. Because Jewish you're mother, Justin. Of because you're Justin. Yeah, of course. He's so handsome. Oh. Well, look, look, look at that. We got headshots. Look at all we the got, eyeliner. Look at the eyeliner on that photo. That was, I think, like 2013. That's when I saw the pointed... The Side hair. Say, yeah, why, why didn't we have Keely do your eyeliner on you today? Wow, that just really brings out your well, eyes. Well, because I, I don't know, I thought about it. It but... looks fancy. So let's get to some Justin here. First, wait, you know mess. what? First off, I got to hey, say. Hey, Island Heat. Hey, Aaron Colby. Oh, Look Island at that. Heat. That was February. Justin that was Reynolds. Finale. Okay, yeah. Justin Reynolds, Jason Andino. Who is that? Cena. Oh, that's Charlene. 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 Is Charlene, was, she, was Charlene in Peep Show? Yes. I know Charlene. Yes. I, and she performed in, in Monday's now. Dark the other day. I she might have been in Fantasy as well. Yeah. I saw her when, in Monday's Dark the other week. Yeah, she was and just there. I was like, I know that. She used to be a DW customer. I'm like, I know her. She's is she, awesome. Is she married to some guy in the hotel business? I don't know. I don't know. know. I think it's her. Hi, Charlene, if you're watching. Hi, Charlene. Hi, girl. She says to me every time she sees me, she's like, "It's my I, I discovered you here in Las Vegas because she brought me uh, into Island Heat. And she it was so much fun. Short-lived as well, unfortunately. The yeah. restaurant was sold. Um, that's where I met Aaron Colby. And okay. That's my show sister. I called my show sister because yeah. we did that together. We did Spoofical together. Of course, we've done a lot of the house seat stuff and whatnot yeah. together as well. Yeah. And now American Idiot. And right. 
I love that kid. When did you land in Vegas for, for shows? When did I you moved here? to Las Vegas when yeah. I was in eighth grade. Oh, my God. So I went to eighth grade in high school here. I graduated from Cimarron in 1999. Mm-hmm. That's I'm, I'm Ooh, why, why I did okay. that. Okay, so we're still, we're 90s babes. That's good. Yes. I was getting a little worried a about little you saying, I'm a 2005 there. graduate. Just because That's I so listened great. to the gayest little Britney Spears. So we were playing Spice Girls, Spice Girls. Prior, prior to the oh, show. That was amazing. Thank we you We played so for much. every guest who likes their music. We were playing Spice Girls for Justin. I think the first song that came on was Stop, Stop Right Now. You can sing all you. I don't know any of the lyrics. What? No, not at all. Tell you what I want. What I want. I know that song. Who doesn't know that song? But yeah, so maybe Jared Hollowell's little small career on her own. When I was in high school, me and my friends Uh did the Spice Girls for a show. Most of us being boys, it was of course you awesome. Were. Of course, of I was course scary spice. I looked like Howard Stern. Oh, it was great. Yeah, but um, so I moved here. I went to high school like in, in Vegas, Stern. and then after high school, I yeah. moved back to the East Coast. Okay. I was in a very short-lived, non-existent boy band thing for a while. Okay, and then I moved down to New York, and in 2001, I it was my first audition ever in New York yeah. City. Yeah, and I got Rent, and I toured yeah. with Rent for two years. Yeah. And, and you played Angel. Angel, yeah, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. I was at Rent for a couple of years and did that. How tour. amazing was that? That was mind blowing because yeah. I I literally showed up to the audition wearing like jeans and Doc Martens. I was like it was like seven o'clock in the morning. I yeah. sang at last as my audition yeah. song. Oh wow! Oh. And Michael Grave just kept on bringing me back and bringing me back and bringing me back. And and I think that he liked somebody that was so naive right. to the whole like audition process slash the show. I didn't really right. know Rent. Yeah, and he and they cast me. This and they, was on the touring end of it. This was the touring end. Oh one so, through oh three. Yeah, a very small. We played here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, when oh, it was the old yeah. Aladdin. <clears throat> a very small fat. When what years did you do that? Two thousand one through two thousand three. Okay, I missed you. It, I, that was actually a funny story on that. I, I I I did an open call audition for Rent. I'm not a I'm not a performer, but I went ahead because I was living in Seattle at the time, and oh. they had an open call at the um, convention center there, and. Uh, Rent, that was when it was its heyday of rent. Like, of course, you know, everybody wanted to be on. There was before American Idol, there were any of those things weren't happening. This is how I'm dating myself. This is like 1998, I think. And I remember I went in to sing, and I just, I had, I had gotten spooked by the guy in front of me saying, just go in and start singing. Don't say your name, anything. I was like, they just, they just, they're really quick. So I walked right in and I started singing uh, the bridge from, um, well, the Dixie Chicks do the song too, but uh, the, the Fleetwood Mac does um, uh, Landslide. So okay. I came in in the middle of the bridge, and I remember the girl looking up at me. She's like, what the fuck are you singing? What? Oh, my God. I was so embarrassed. I walked out of there so embarrassed. Well, they said but, to me, I started singing and had my eyes closed the whole time. And he you? said, okay, start over. Yeah. Open your eyes. I was so nervous. You were so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was the big show back in the day. I mean, it was the Pulitzer it was Prize winning musical. It was four years after musical. it won the Pulitzer Prize. Yeah. So it was yeah. 2001. I mean, we'd come out of the backstage doors on yeah. these towns. And there were it was it was people the, were nuts for that. Not show. to mention like all the the online boards that would talk about it. It was my yeah. first taste of like yeah. that. Yeah. Amount of crazy, and it was it was it was awesome. It, I mean, even when they ended up doing the movie version later, where they cast a lot of the original people from. Nah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, bad. Okay, we won't talk about. I that. love you, Idina. If you're watching, I, well, no, I, you're absolutely I, I, not. At but all. I love Rosario Dawson. Like she's one of the people that I actually enjoyed in that movie, yeah. even though she wasn't. But Jesse, Jess, thank thank you. I need my Broadway friends out Thanks, there helping Isla. us. <laughs> Jesse, I don't know how. <laughs> Mr. Law and Order guy. He was he was very good, but. Um, but that show really invigorated such a young audience. Yep. Like it was insane. Mm-hmm. I don't think any other show besides Wicked and now obviously um, Hamilton had that kind of driving force on well, that not show. Not to mention when we would be on tour and the people that would come see the show. I mean, yeah. these kids in the front. Uh, I mean, one of the most memorable experiences I ever had in my entire career was there was a scene where Angel is dying. Yeah. On the on the bed and and Collins is there holding him one and there was a man in the audience and I don't know what his terminal condition might have been yeah, yeah. but I can tell that he was probably on his way out and yeah. it's terrible and seeing him out there living what I was portraying yeah, as a healthy yeah. person. Right. Oh man, that was deep. Yeah. That was really really deep and and that's definitely one of the more memorable acting experiences I've ever had in my life because yeah. it just it became way too real yeah. on that stage yeah no you're right I mean people did camp out and they were getting the $20 tickets back mm-hmm. in the day and they were trying I mean the audiences were full we'd go out there and sometimes visit them and hang out with them yeah. and sign their stuff before the show it was fun I love it for sure I yeah. love it what was the, so when you came back to Vegas and you're thinking about like you know your career as overall I mean I came How back to you... Vegas um, after living in New York. I was there. I came back in 07 and I yeah. started doing small. I did Super Summer Theater. I did Las Vegas Little Theater. Okay. And then an ex of mine was in Tony and Tina's wedding. Uh-huh. 
And yeah. so they were auditioning for a cover for Donnie Dolce. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I went in there and I sang it. At the Rio? At, were you it was at, at, you at it the It just time had Bally's. moved to the Planet Hollywood. Oh, okay, yeah. A very small. Yeah, yeah. In the V Theater, which yes. people was. Yeah. Um, it was a restaurant at the time. And they yeah. put Tony and Tina's in there. And um, it was it was a short time that I was there, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. You know? And then after that, the cruise ships began. We, we interview a lot of you guys who end up on cruise ships. <clears throat> Five years. Five years two in those barracks. Yeah. Two with a production cast with Holland America and then three okay. as a guest entertainer uh, on Norwegian. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what was the primary shows that you did in the, on those ships? Or was it just acts? What, what, what were the shows that you did? Oh, on I those? did a show called Oh What a Night. I'm so Are you coming in to Frankie Valley oh, and the we're four getting notes. Seasons. I'm not I'm getting notes from Republicans. <laughs> it's not from me. What does that say? Tom. Oh, oh okay. Well, that, we got a yeah. question. We do. We got a question. From is it the from world. my mother? It is. <laughs> no, actually, it's. Ask says, him what his favorite dish is. It's probably the corn casserole. How involved in rent? We're going to go back to rent for a minute and be emotional. How involved were Jonathan Larson's parents back in the Very day? Very much so. Uh, That's a great Yeah, question. they Thank were there you. for a lot of them. Um, they came to a lot of our shows. We. Uh, Jonathan Larson being the writer yeah, of yeah. Rent. I, yes. I know his mom's name is Nan, and I cannot remember his father's name right now off the top of my Jim, head. Maybe? I'm sorry? Jim? No. Okay. I can't. Remember. I see his face, but but what they would they we first of all when I first first joined the show they took the entire cast of our cast to go yeah. see Tick Tick Boom which okay. was still playing with I think Raul Sparza and mm -hmm. Amy Spanger and they were all still in the show at the time yeah. and we went to go see it with Anthony Rapp and Molly Ringwald and then oh, wow. afterwards they took us all to the Life Cafe in the mm -hmm. in the village mm -hmm. and and it was wow it was really cool um but. Any time that they, I did two tours, so to speak, like back to back, and uh, they they always came and they brought videos of of Jonathan playing in you know uh, piano bars and at home yeah. and whatnot, and like actual home videos of like him and his friends yeah. having their peasants feasts, as they would call it, where they'd yeah. all bring like whatever they could afford just yeah. to have a dinner together and whatnot. Yeah. But they were they were super 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 involved yeah. with the production. Um, backstage, we had a really cool carved board that we would all rub before the show that said thank you jonathan larson and then wow. at the end of the tour the props guy did like that sort of like chalk or or, or lead like mm -hmm. brushing or whatever it is of it and we all have that like at home wow. it, they were very involved for yeah. sure and there there was no other phenomenon probably like like that show it was amazing it really it really probably isn't you know, I, I could not believe that I was, it was my first audition ever and to be cast as Angel you're, was you're, you're, amazing. You're, my first audition ever yeah. in New York City, ever. <laughs> and I'm sure for the point zero zero who have never seen Rent in the movie form or on stage version, Angel was the very pivotal character that sort of changed the trajectory of the show and how people relate to one another. It's yep. awesome. Yeah. Oh. It, it was, it was I didn't know Justin and I were going to get emotional today on the show. Thanks a lot for the It's a thing. Why leave New York? So yeah, so Republicans asking a question overhead. Why? <laughs> why, why, leave why leave New York? New York? Why did you leave New because York? Because rent sense? is seventeen hundred and fifty dollars per month, and that is not. Cute. That was then. <laughs> that, well, even I mean, right. yeah, not that long ago, now. I was I was living with um, somebody in New York, yeah. and it was yeah. it was just it's expensive, you know. And yeah. like my family's here, my parents are here, my yeah. friends are here. I went to high school here. My, yeah. You know, the closest people in my life are here, and yeah. I really, really do love Vegas. Well, and you're blossoming as a performer here anyway. I mean, so Justin, ha I, one of the most memorable things about Justin is he was in our Amy Winehouse show mm. <laughs> at Brooklyn Bowl. Uh, what do you mean? Mm, what's that? Mm. Mm. First of all, he had... That's where I think I made up like 79% of the lyrics to that song. That's fine, because you had the most pivotal story prior to your performance. Oh, I thanked Amy. Literally, I mean, the fact that you're channeling her in, and you this is a show that you'd wanted to be a part of for a long time. Amy Winehouse, that, I mean, that mm -hmm. album, again, almost like American yeah. Idiot. It's one yeah. of those albums that I listened to for like, stay. Yeah. Oh. In between me and my man. Oh, here we go. It's me and Mr. Jones. Here we go. Me and Mr. Jones. Who sang this one? I oh, think fuckery. Sang this one. It. What kind, kind of fuckery, fuckery is this? Is? Oh, we said it. We said it. <laughs> Take a drink, fuckery. Woo. Slick Rick Gig. Mm. Mm, yeah, la, la, that was so much fun. Not to mention, I don't know the words at all, but Francesca and yes. I did okay. all the backgrounds. Uh -huh. for Francesca Camus, who is yes, I, she's probably watching right now. I know she is favorite. Yeah, yeah, she's and, so much fun. Um, we did the background vocals, for, and we just it was mm -hmm. so much fun. We worked yeah. so well together, yeah. and they sounded. Um, the, it was just a blast. It that was, was a magical such a, show. It really yeah. was. That was a great so much time. fun. We definitely need to resurrect that one sometime. 
They're all. You know what's magical. funny is that they're everything. All, oh, oh, look at him. They're all magical. They're all magical, mm-hmm. and they are. I love you, Andy. <laughs> Speaking of coming up, though, we have. Uh, you're going to be out again when we do a Queen show. Yeah. Part of our side by side series. Are we the still 19th. calling it side by side? At the uh, New York, New York, the. 19th. But hold on a second. I'm good. The town square, not town square. Bar- the town. Times square. Times square. Oh boy. Town square. Whatever. Oh I live boy. in Vegas too long. <laughs> Times square bar <laughs> at two o'clock on the night, Saturday the 19th. So it's queen music that night. Yeah. Or, that day. Yeah. So excited. Freddie Mercury. Mm-hmm. That's just an excuse to just scream and belt your face know, off. Right? Mm-hmm. Lord Jesus, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> let's hope. Off, <laughs> yeah, they'll be drinking their white wine spritzers. Loving that. I'll be drinking uh, whiskey drinking. Let's, there. let's. I know, bring it to whiskey drink. I should drink a vodka drink. Uh, we do have one little item of business we have to do too, because Eiler, who's here visiting from the office too, we have a promotion going on for house seats right now, a two for one promotion. Okay. And we've been giving out prizes, massive prizes. Like the other day, we gave away Olivia Newton John meet and greet tickets. And How stuff. fun! Yeah, that's not it, but that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for the DW plug. Republican mistake. That's okay. <laughs> he's new here. As they all he's, are. He's new here. He's new here. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love you, Scott. <laughs> I love Scott. He's so fun. Always there for the small business. Oh, see? Did you see his yes on one or his no on one just now? No. He just Come said on. no it's on common one. Common sense loopholes. Jeez. All right. We have a winner. Right we have now. a winner we're announcing because we know some house these members are who, watching. Who, who? Today we're giving away tickets to two tickets to Bruno Mars coming what? back to... what? No, it's not open to you, Scott. Actually, it is open to you, but it, you didn't win. Why is it not open? He's, he, he's a house he's member. Two tickets to Bruno Mars at the new Park Theater at the Monte Carlo. How exciting. Goes to Jessica C. C. Jessica C. So Jessica we don't, C. We don't, don't give out last names on house seats because, you know. Don't we don't, people we don't showing up at her door Bobby begging like, for the Jessica tickets. C. Jessica, Jessica C. If you don't C. have a guest, I would be more than happy to go with you to Bruno Mars. Oh, uh, that's so nice. <laughs> Just saying. You know, a lot of members, as we've done this for 11 years, a lot of members have uh, met... Uh, spouses, they have uh, they have gone on dates as a result of house seats yeah. memberships. Really? Yeah, people have gone to house seats. It's so improved then you their social a tab that's like dating. Ooh, oh, that could be interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, it could say going by yourself. <gasps> Click on this. To right. See who right. else is going by themselves? Look. Oh my god. Wow. And now it's eHarmony or Match. dot com. Tinder. Right. Ten, no, not swiping left or right. No. Have you ever been on? You, no. Are you on those sites? No. One of them, and I will not discuss. Well, or dis- it's okay. Which it's one? Okay. Of them. And it's no, not Grinder. We're not. That's all he knows. That's all he knows. That's all he knows. All he knows. Really, as most Republicans. Awareness. Yeah. Fox News. Do you have that Awareness. app hidden somewhere in your utilities folder? <laughs> Every Republican has Grinder on their phone. Every Republican man has something on their phone. Anywhere you. <laughs> What did but you say? Do you want to say that again? Serious to the shit on this show today. Wow. Aside from the prizes, how much longer do House Seats members have to get? So the two we for one? still have till November 11th to win prizes mm-hmm. and still get two years for a price of one on House yeah. Seats. We're still giving away things like 11 years of House Seats that you can gift or use wow. on your own. We have a either a flyaway uh, Grand Canyon tour or Brian Head, whichever you choose. Tickets to share. Tickets to share at the Park Theater. What? Tickets to Britney Spears. Tickets to J Lo. What? Brittany? Tickets to uh, San Francisco on Virgin Where's America my Airlines. To I have never seen Britney. Just so you know. All you got to do is go on houseseats.com, put your email in there, and you'll be registered to win. You don't have to purchase. No purchase necessary to win. Baby. <laughs> All Scott knows is the song Grinder. I didn't even heard a fucking song called Grinder. That's a bunch of fuckery. See, that's back in Judas back in a, Priest. Back in Ohio. And if you listen to their album backwards, it says vote for Hillary. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, one. I realize what I can do to annoy Scott. I can bang on the table again. No, I won't do it. Oh, I'm sorry, Scott. It's just a reverb from last week. We were banging the table a lot and my ring hits the table, hits his ears, and it's really sad. So, okay. <laughs> In our final moments, I do want to talk. We usually talk about some things we've done, and I have to post a video real do we have quick. Thirty? Oh my! No, gosh. no. Post a video that I want to show. We went to a Kanye concert last weekend. So out of my element. But look at how <gasps> look at these people underneath. First of all, he had a floating stage. That's let's talk about that. Do for you one see second. all the smoke coming up? Oh my god! That, that's, that's not that's fog. That's that yes is on, not that, a that's yes smoke. on two right there. Yes um, on two. That's yes on two. Swear to God, look at how these people were dancing. They were insane. So we ended up, by the grace of God, in T-Mobile Arena down there right next to his band. They, Kanye had a floating stage over the audience. It was just him 
over the entire oh audience. Oh my god, that's that—that that was the whole set. That was the whole set. He had lighting that's above brilliant. him. That's brilliant. He was on that a, is brilliant. A, a floating stage, and people are underneath him screaming for. I mean, it was it was the most production value wise. I'm not a fan of Kanye, and I probably won't ever be. But the show, because I'm a, Scott is are, not no. giving up on this side. No, no, no. Um, Vote for Kanye. But right so, now. just speaking of live music, real quick, he I want to just take one, one yeah. second to yeah. just throw out a little promotion there for my awesome new band that I'm in right now. It's called Jump Interactive. Yep. We'll be playing all. Check us out on Facebook, Jump Interactive. Myself, Paige Trafella, John Torres. Um, You'll it's, be at Arizona Charlie's. We'll be at Arizona Charlie's East tonight. tonight. We'll be at the Ro- Lawson side. Riverside next week. Yep, yep. East um, side. Awesome, awesome band. Really, really cool yep, concept. Definitely come yeah. and check us out. Because the East Side one is, on Boulder Highway and Desert Inn. We're about there. All right. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Go out and vote. Today oh, or by Tuesday. Drink Jack right. Honey. Bye. <laughs> Drink Jack Honey.